it's a nice and bright and warm day and I was gonna work on my brother's house today but it's so nice we're gonna do outside stuff today and probably do that tomorrow when it's not supposed to be so nice uh, one thing I really want to get done is I want to get the tank the gray water tank in the bus but before we do that we need to put the drain in so that's what we're going to be doing. Let me just set the camera up here and tell you a little bit about what's going on. You know, I have not been able to find very many videos on how to install these. I did go directly to the website where I purchased it, and they did have a video. The guy did a pretty good job. I will say that he misspoke uh, his measurements a couple times, so if you were trying to get the measurement, it wasn't super helpful, other than the fact that when he finally slid this in the hole and said what went and had to go in, then I knew the hole had to be the same size as this because at one point he said he was doing a two inch piece and a two and a half inch piece back and forth. So, uh, but I searched the web quite a bit. There's no real other videos. So I'm hoping to do a really good video for you today. So if you're trying to install these self locking um, connectors, this video will help you out. Basically what you need to do is drill a hole in your tank where you want to put this and it has to be the size of the short end of your coupler gasket basically uh, and you, if you look inside this you probably it might be hard to see um, but it does taper in at an angle so when you go to put this in it's all right when you go to put this in it's going to get tighter as it goes down because it's tapered so the side that has this flat part here not this small rim needs to go in the tank that way so you just want to measure, if you don't know, how wide that is, and that's the size your hole needs to be. Once you drill that hole, you're going to slide that down in, then you're going to take your coupler, slide that down in, and we'll talk about that once we do it. But the hole size needs to be the size of this right here, whether it's the big one or you know whatever size you're putting in, that needs to be the, the size of the hole. So the first thing I need to do is get me a four inch hole saw, which I'm not sure if I have one right here, I'm going to have to go look. but. In my case, it's going to be four inch because once this is all said and done, this is all mounted in, we'll have a piece of uh, PVC here to connect these two, and this will be coming out of the bottom of the tank. So, when we want to drain, we can just pull our drain and drain our tank. Uh, so, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I know it'd be great if we go to that end, but that's not the end it fits on. So, the uh, first thing I can do is find a four inch hole saw. So. We'll get back to you once we have that figured out. I found a four inch hole saw and you can see, as I was saying earlier, this is the size and that is the exact size we need right there. And I measured it. Now I'm not gonna get into all the measurements and all that stuff, but I will tell you is take time, measure four times exactly where you want this hole before you cut the hole. Because once you do, you get a hole in the tank. And uh, this is a hundred gallon tank and it was a, you know, a few hundred bucks. So I don't wanna put it in the wrong spot and I sure as heck I'm sure you don't want to either. So once you've determined where it's going to go this is how you install it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next and what you need is a little bit of soap, you need your rubber fitting and your your plastic coupler thing that gets popped in and of course tape measure is already done with that and your drill bit. That's pretty much all you need. Alright so we're just going to go ahead and drill our hole here and show you what to do. Well, that's where it's going. There is your four inch hole. I'm just going to reach down in there and pull this piece out. And you do want to get all these burrs off before you put the piece in. So we'll do that here. A couple ways you can do it, but uh, I'm just got a little piece of sand tape here. You don't want to sand anything down. You're basically just using it to get any, any leftover fibers. I'm going to do the inside too. Again, you're not sanding, you're just cleaning. Because when this goes down in there, it has to seal really good here against the tank, and then this is gonna roll back on the back side a little bit as well. So the cleaner that is, the better chance of a good seal. All right, so once you've done that, you're gonna take your rubber gasket, the self-locking gasket, and it's gonna go down in the tank like that. Once that's in there, you're ready to put this in. And to do that, to make it easier, you just want to use 
just basic dish soap. Don't use any other chemical. I uh, don't recommend any other chemical. It's not good for the rubber and the plastic materials. So just a little bit of dish soap. Make sure this is nice and clean as well. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. This is just going to help it slide down in and then that soap will eventually go away. All right. Once you got that, you're just going to wiggle this down in until it snaps in place. I heard it snap. And that's it. And that should be all you need to do. So now you have your drain and you're ready to put your piece in between to glue this in place. And then you've got your drain piece. So uh, I know this is a short video, but like I said, I did not see a lot of good videos on this. A very simple process, but if you don't get it right the first time, you could ruin your tank pretty quick. So uh, take a minute, give this video a thumbs up. Swing back to Life the Wild Ride next week for more bus build videos. And hopefully that next video will be us um, putting this tank in. All right, have a great day. And remember, life is a wild ride. We'll see you in the next video. I just know when it's upside down. That's the fill. Yeah, that's the fill. I just don't want it too close to the edge of the bus, you know what I mean? I'd rather have it in a little bit, I guess. Yeah, because you want to be able to reach. Yeah, because this is going to attach to it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's keep that in mind. Yep. I don't want any of this stick. want that sticking out. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'll just go in the center. I think that'd be far enough? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of room. I mean, I can angle this probably different ways, and don't have to worry about that right now. I just got to get this in. Because this part I don't want to do upside down. That I can do upside down. Alright, I'm going to cut all this out of the video anyways. <laughs> Alright.